There is a rampant culture of SX, according to numerous former staffers at ABC News. TJ Holmes, 45, allegedly had at least three further workplace romances, two of which were with junior staff members, after his marriage and career were torpedoed by his affair with former GMA3 co-anchor Amy Robach, which made headlines late last year. One of them, Sasha, provided an anonymous interview to The Cut for an expose that was published on Tuesday, confirming what a reliable source hinted in an interview with the Gossip Time last month, that Holmes and Sasha, a then-assistant producer in her mid-20seconds, would engage in sexual activity in his office. Holmes was said to be in a position of control over her by our source, but Sasha claimed to The Cut that at the time, because she and Holmes both worked on the network's nighttime program, it was a really scandalous place, she didn't even think about power relations, although she had heard reports that that other women have received promotions after having affairs with CEOs. She claimed that Holmes' decision to focus on Good Morning America after first showing a crazy amount of interest in her left her feeling heartbroken and like a throwaway toy. The revelation of his claimed additional indiscretions heightened her emotions. She told the site, I was just part of a trend, adding that she felt she was special. Furthermore, Sasha asserted that the executives guard the company's reputation more than they do employees. Sasha declined our multiple requests for comment, while calling our Jan, 24 post, which did not include her name or photograph, as very upsetting to read since it showed the perspective of somebody who witnessed being sort of disoriented following a rumored romp in Holmes' office. Relationships like Holmes and Sasha's were extremely commonplace in the 2010 seconds, according to a former GMA employee, who also said that it seemed like everybody was sleeping around. The network, according to the former GMA employee, rewarded the folks that were either divas or adulterers. Ruth stated that GMA in particular seemed to be staffed by a bunch of horned-up high school students who learned how to do journalism in the 80 seconds when people were still doing blow in the bathroom. Ruth left GMA in 2019 but is still an ABC News producer. Ruth said she once complained to HR about an editor calling her baby and touching her bare thigh, but no action was taken since Ruth didn't look that furious about it. According to Ruth, Ruth thinks Holmes is being used as a sacrificial lamb because the culture of office connections has evidently been a pretty well-known issue for a long time. Julie, a former employee of ABC News, said to the cut that she remembers asking herself, what's wrong with me? Would I have been more likely to acquire one of these jobs if I had slept with someone? When an older coworker made an inappropriate move at her, Alicia, a former ABC News producer, admitted that it never occurred to her to report HR because she reasoned, this is just what happens, right? She continued by saying that one executive went very, very sour on after she started dating an older coworker who appeared to be different but not her male counterpart. She claimed, I wasn't mature enough to have the vision not to mess around and jeopardize my profession.